here is Chateau Saint Michel Sauvignon Blanc 2015 and Columbia Valley in the uh, from the state of Washington. Thirteen percent alcohol by volume. It's about it says eleven ninety nine on the sticker here. It's probably about average between twelve, thirteen bucks. I'd be able to find it on sale for nine or ten. So you know, roughly a ten to thirteen dollar wine. Our Sauvignon Blanc is sourced from select sites in the world-class vineyard of Columbia Valley with a new world fruit intensity in an elegant old world style. This Sauvignon Blanc is crafted for freshness with crisp flavors of apples, melon, and fresh delicate Herb. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just a little dry. The wine, obviously, is a white wine. <laughs> um, it is a very, very clear wine, a uh, light yellow tint on it. I know sometimes Sauvignon Blancs can be a little bit more uh, gold or even Chardonnays. This one just really has a nice clean clear uh, like light light gold yellow tint to it. Just very, very nice, light, uh, yeah, just a nice overall clear wine. Wonderful nose, though. Wow. Very upfront, herbaceous notes. Definitely, you get those herb notes on there. Get a little bit of basil. Hmm. The sort of like lemon, and grassy note, like a lemongrass. Nice uh, grapefruit. Just. Teeny bit of grapefruit, nothing over the top. Some nice other citrus notes on there. A little bit of uh, green apple. A little bit of hidden kiwi. Minor notes of other tropical tropical fruits but those uh those herb spices are just really really just so gentle on the nose get some little bit of floral in there maybe a little bit of peach White flowers. Wonderful, wonderful aromatic news. Um, let's see what it does on the palate. Huh. 
Wow. Very crisp, very refreshing, very relaxing. What I love about this Sauvignon Blanc is that it's not really puckery. Um, some Sauvignon Blancs, particularly out of New Zealand, can be full-blown citrus, which I don't necessarily mind as long as it's for the right occasion. This is just really nice and gentle. There's no pucker at all. Very light uh, citrus notes on there. I think I get like a nice little smoothness on here. A little bit of minerality. Nice herbaceous uh, tones in there. I get a little bit of like maybe Meyer lemon. Definitely get that apple taste in there. Huge apple taste. Definitely apple taste is what uh, stands out. Maybe like a little bit of melon. I don't know, cantaloupe maybe. Hint of uh, hint of kiwi. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe banana. I don't know. No, probably not, because I don't like banana. Not quite sure what that is. It can't be pineapple. Hmm. I don't know. There's a mystery taste in here, but whatever it is, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, and I'm loving it. And I'm loving this wine. Crisp, refreshing. After a long, hot day like today, it was 90-something degrees, humidity at 100%. Well, close enough. Um, now that's finally late in the evening. 10.35 p.m. I'm just watching my uh, Netflix show. I have my Netflix show on pause. So I'll get back to it after this review. And then I'll go to bed. And uh, have the day off tomorrow, but we got an employee meeting. Uh, looking forward to that. Um, but I'll probably be doing another review here in a couple days. Another, another white. Um, although, don't worry, I'm not finished with my reds. I've got some nice pinots and some nice Italian and Spanish wines coming up for you all. And I've got a big boy. I've got a big Bordeaux coming up for you all too. So, well, try to get that done before the end of the month. But, yeah, most of July and August, I'll switch to whites. Switch to Sauvignon Blancs and Pinot Grigios and couple couple charge styles we'll see um, anyway ending this review on my final rating of this there's really no bad thing to say about it um, if you're one who likes light crisp refreshing minor citrus notes but more of a fruity, floral bouquet of um, Sauvignon Blanc. This is definitely the way to go. This is definitely your style. This is definitely something you would want to try. It's very easy to drink. Even non-wine lovers could like it. Um, or if you're just beginning out um, and you just want to start off with something simple, you don't really want to go full-blown red, but you don't want to do like nasty buttery California shard this is the way to go <clears throat> um, decent finish I'm still getting a little bit of uh, 
minor, um, maybe like peach, maybe that's what it is, peach in there, I don't know. It's still getting like that little teeny bits of uh, that uh, fresh fruitness, still even lingering now. Um, there's really no best thing to say about this wine, honestly. Um, really um, popular winery. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's very cheap, very affordable. If you're just looking for a wine to bring to a party or just enjoy by itself, this is it. No, definitely not like a not like a wine kind of sore type of wine, but it's definitely a crowd pleaser. So I think I think it deserves a four and a half out of five. I think I give maybe I think I deduct maybe half a star for maybe I don't know. I like excitement in the glass and as I said, this is a very, very good wine. There's no pal. I do sometimes like a little bit of pal, so I feel like this maybe lacks a little bit excitement. I mean, it's really good. It's really fruity. It's really delicious. It gives you all those tunes I was talking about. But I would like a little bit of pal in there. Just a little bit more than what it's offering. Just a teeny bit more. So, that's where the half star gets deducted off. So four and a half out of five. Chateau Saint Michel Sauvignon Blanc, Columbia Valley, out of Washington, 2015. I'm Ryan the Wine Guy, and I'll see you all later. Cheers.